GB fans, this is Ariel back with another video update for you. Today we're taking a look at just a quick couple of minor uh, finishing paint touches. Uh, right now you're staring at a washer or a bolt, I mean. Why are you staring at a nut and bolt? Well, because I'm going to pull out. Ha <laughs> ha, phrasing. And, as you can see, I've started the process of mounting up the bumper. Um... I had to make a new motherboard, so I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, I got around to drilling the hole for the second uh, filter arm that comes off the out of the middle here. Um, I'm going to come around to the side so there's not as much glare. But as you can see, I did a lot more weathering. It looks <laughs> pretty beat up. Um, that was just, you know, some dry brush aluminum paint and uh, a whole lot of, well you know, a whole lot of just going at it. Um, I did finish the base of the ion arm, which I've still got to find a cap for and then mount a uh, rod to come out of it and still got to mount the resistors. I still have to mount the ribbon cable connector right about here, you know, ish. Um, I might have to actually make a brand new one because I don't know whether or not the one that I made last year um, is going to actually fit. I'm also going to have to cut a slit into the pack shell itself so I hope it doesn't actually cause any splitting in the cold or anything and cause the whole thing to come up. That would be unfortunate. Um, it's getting to be winter time in Wisconsin here so... Uh, yeah, anyways, um, I am waiting on uh, parts from Jack to come in, uh, getting a clippered valve for both the proton pack and the, um, and the thrower. I'm actually going to get a set, a double set of all of the smaller detail pieces that go on to the uh, pack itself. Like a booster frame ladder, I'm getting two of those. I think I'm getting two of the PPDs, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Jack, if you're watching, you can correct me. Um, I know I'm not getting the vacuum hose connector, so I'll have to source that or build it myself. Um, I'll have to try and get some labels on this, but I don't think I'm going to go for labels on this. I think I'm just going to keep it as is and, you know, maybe uh, get some residue on there, make it look like there were labels on there and it just fell off um, because I really do like this weather look and it does pull away from like the sea of black that proton packs usually have at this stage. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of my weathering job. Um... I think I may have went a little overboard with it, um, but that is aside the point. I also mounted a, um, uh, I think, half inch or quarter inch uh, PVC pipe with a wooden dowel uh, down here. And it sticks pretty far down, so I'm going to have to cut it down to about maybe here-ish. Yeah, it looks about right, um, so that the pipe isn't sticking out. It actually sticks out good four or five inches maybe outside of the um, outside of the gun box mount. So uh, yeah we're gonna be looking to cut this down with good old Mr. Hack, uh, jigsaw which I don't have plugged in. Always a good idea to unplug your uh, power tools when not in use people. You don't know what kind of craziness will happen. Alright, so we're going to move the shell off to the side to reveal the beautifulness underneath. Oh yeah, that, that's definitely got to get cut down. Alright, so my workbench is still pretty messy, but uh, bear with me folks. Um, now I've tried a couple of different configurations of uh, mounts for the pack shell itself. And this seems to be the best one yet because um, the power cell, I've noticed that 
it's not just me, it's a couple of other people who've had a minor issue with the power cell uh, sticking up off of the um, off of the motherboard itself. Um, so to eliminate that problem, I just put a block here and you know, put a screw hole in it. Um, and that's hopefully going to keep everything together at least for a few hours. Um, I did mount it to the uh, did mount it to the Alice frame, and it holds pretty nicely. I, I like the way it holds. Uh, the only issue that I have is that where I've got it, which I think is pretty pretty accurate. Um, yeah, you'll notice my botch job up here kind of screwed up cutting and marking out and it looks like something out of a cheesy cartoon so yeah anyways um the problem I'm having is that the uh, the notch on the bottom of my motherboard sits out a wee bit too far so I'm probably gonna have to cut that down um, so that it'll actually sit flat or something, I don't know. Um, normally it's going to be sitting against a wall at an angle like that. And it does a pretty good job of self-standing. I do have to commend myself on that. It does stand pretty well and because the frame, uh, because the frame is so light, because the shell is so light, it's not going to cause it shouldn't cause any problems, let me rephrase, with it just freestanding. So I can display it as I see fit. Um, you'll also notice that I started doing, we're going back to the pack shell. I know, I'm totally random here, totally random. I also started installing the red gels. Um, this really is another DIY solution, a homemade solution. Again, some Sharpie. And I just killed a paint can. Alright, uh, just some Sharpie on some of that same uh, plastic I showed you a couple, uh, couple videos ago. Where it's just the kitty litter box that I cut out. And instead of doing the entire uh, gel in blue like I did that, I just left, you know, two strips of um, bare plastic on the sides and had at it. Um, and, gee, what is your reflector solution? Well, coming over to my paint table, um, I've got these paint can caps, which I've already primed, um, I'm just waiting for them to dry, drilled out a hole in the center, and, uh, when they're done, I'm gonna hit them with some of that, uh, metallic aluminum paint, and, uh, It'll be, should be, bright enough to, you know, throw that light out really well. I mean, the LEDs are super bright. I gotta commend uh, Prop Forge for such an amazing job on those lights. So that's it for my update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in for my next video, which is coming up soon. I'll be hopefully uh, finishing up this pack and starting the new pack. So until we got, until then guys, take it easy.